Hi guys, Dan Wiseman here from Heart of the Hulk. Earlier I got a text from Dan, I'm not in the UK at the moment, I'm on the other side of Europe in Bulgaria with work and I got a text from him earlier that tasked me with summarising what Jack Grealish means to Aston Villa in a short video. Dan mate, how long have you got? One, two hours, three. For fans of a certain age, myself included, Jack Grealish is without exception what represents Aston Villa best. It's a sensational rise and, a, and something that we can all be proud of, that we've been able to watch him grow into this global superstar, what he is today. It's almost impossible to imagine Villa without him. However, the sad reality of modern football has resulted in little to no loyalty left in the game. An argument could be made that signing a new contract is a sign of loyalty. And I'm just over the moon to obviously um, sign a new contract here and, and I'm looking forward to the season now. Um, I think it was a massive factor, um, you know, the, the staff that are here, the people that are running the football club at the moment um, and like I said, you know, it all played a massive part. At around this time last year, Jack committed his future to the club, fulfilling his desires of playing and captaining his boyhood club in the Premier League. And yeah, it's just obviously brilliant for me. Like you said, you know, I've been 25 years old, the captain of um, Aston Villa in the Premier League. It's the stuff of dreams really, from especially from where I've come from, you know. I've come up through the ranks and um, been a massive Villa fan myself, always always going to every game since I, since I was a kid. So like you said, it's the stuff of dreams. The desires of our owners Nasef Sawiris and Wes Edens are clear, restoring our great club back to its former glory days. Uh, we're here as custodians of this great club and we'll do everything possible to uh, bring back the club to where it deserves. Yeah, change uh, is, uh, is what got us here, so uh, and we're, we're beneficiaries of that to a certain extent. But uh, you know, we think that uh, nothing happens overnight. Um, that was my experience with the Bucks. I think it'll be consistent with what it is here. Um, we have very lofty goals for you know, the club and the organization and the fans, and we just want to be you know, the best partners possible for that. Years on, Eden's fulfilled his desires with the Bucks, overcoming a star-studded Brooklyn Nets side featuring Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden in the Eastern Conference semifinals before leading the Bucks to the championship victory against the Phoenix Suns in the final. The key to that? Yanis Antetokounmpo. The Greek freak signed a five-year deal worth a whopping $228 million before leading the Bucks to victory. Does this sound familiar? I think a lot of people when they're asked that topic will look at Jack's goals, his assists, what he does for Villa in terms of points per game, how he's benefited Dean Smith over the years. All of those metrics that Dan and I love to talk about on the podcast explain in terms of his on-field performance exactly what he brings to the club. You can look at it statistically, but you know me. I'm going to look at it emotionally. Of course I am. There's a narrative behind this boy and we all love it. He gives Villa fans the chance to dream. When you stand on the whole team, when you stand on the terraces and you look down at those 11 players as a kid, that you can go on and be one of those, just like that lad from Solihull that dragged Villa from the Championship to the Premier League, then became the nation's sweetheart at the Euros. All this whilst done in the famous Claret and Blue. You can be that boy. Desires can be complicated. Jack can want to stay at Villa for the rest of his career and continue to be club captain. But there will be part of him that does fancy the move to Manchester City for the titles, the trophies, the accolades, everything that comes with that. As a crucial week approaches for the club, it's vital to remember that regardless of the situation, the club will continue to make strides forward under the current ownership and understand that Jack is Villa through and through. He's not going to force a move up north. And that's how I hope Jack remains, a loyal servant, because he gives the fans the chance to dream that they can go on, pull that on, pull on that number ten shirt, and do all the wonderful things that Jack does. If he leaves, I'll bid him farewell with, I've got to be honest, a lump in my throat, because we all know how much we love that boy. No one loves him more so than us at the Villa. But Jack, if you do stay, mate, hopefully by the time this recording has gone out, I don't have egg on my face at this point. But hopefully you've stayed, mate, and you've made the right decision for it.